Hello, happy uh, Super Bowl Sunday if you care about sports. <laughs> um, I watched the Puppy Bowl because they canceled the Kitty Bowl. Yes, they did. Isn't that so rude? Um, but I'm home. I was at my parents for a while and I took Finn. Their dog's name is Blue. <laughs> I took Finn on a really long walk right as the sunset was happening and it was so pretty and then I caught it like on my way home it was it was nice so yeah um yeah so that's kind of been my day um this week's vlog is going to be the last week that Austin is away this is supposed to be my what do we want to call it my sad girl do you have to play with my hair must you? <laughs> I think that this week is going to be sad girl gets her life together. Yeah, that's that's the vibes. Today was going to be the start of that. I was ambitious. I woke up at 8.30 and I was like, great. Um, I made myself breakfast. I've been struggling to um, eat full meals, but I had breakfast and... <laughs> I ran a load of laundry, I loaded the dishes and ran the dishes, and I was like, look at me, I'm doing great. And then I wrote a to-do list, <laughs> which is probably my downfall. I wrote my to-do list in Procreate, and then I got overwhelmed and stressed and sad, and then I sat on the couch and watched TikToks and cheer, um, and then I left for my parents. Okay this getting unnecessary and then I went to my parents and I sat on their couch in the game room uh from like 2 p.m to 5 p.m um on TikTok all day kind of watching the puppy bowl and then went on a walk so I mean still I've done some good accomplished things but yeah not as much as I was hoping to, not as much as, like, this sad girl turnaround was supposed to be, but it is what it is. I'm hoping, yeah, I don't know. I had a lot of plans, but it's already, like, probably six now, and I don't want to make it too ambitious. I do work tomorrow, but then I have a couple of days off, so fingers crossed. I was supposed to have a 24-hour readathon today. That clearly did not happen. I'm also supposed to finish my birthday reading vlog. I'm supposed to read like two, three books for that and I haven't even started one. Um, so you could say that there's a bit of a downfall happening, but we're going to do our best. I think that my plan for tomorrow is to listen to a book at work and hopefully make like a hefty dent in that for my reading vlog. Um, and then hopefully Tuesday or Wednesday, because I don't work those days, one of those days I can do a 24-hour reading vlog, so I best get started on editing today, I suppose, so that I can clear up my schedule. <sighs> it's harder to balance YouTube and a full-time job than I thought it would be. I was like, that's easy, I'll work 38 hours a week and... I'll crush it everything and that's certainly not how it's going but I think this evening because it's still early I'm going to finish the last episode of cheer because I deserve that I'm going to chug three glasses of water and then I'm going to work on editing videos until it's dinner time take a break eat something and then either go back to editing or go to bed depending on what time it is and then start again tomorrow. So let's crush this final week of me being home alone to prove that I am a capable adult who actually could live on her own if the time came or it was it was ever necessary. Anywho, um, I will probably check in later with reading updates. Uh, and yeah, that's what I got for you. So. 
Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna put this in here because clearly I'm crying, but I just wanted to document my makeup for the day because I thought it was pretty and cute, okay? Hey. So, um, one, yes, this is the outfit that I wore yesterday for Valentine's Day because I thought it was cute. Yes, I did sleep in it last night, and no, I'm not taking it off because I deserve to feel cute on the internet like I was hoping to yesterday. But as you saw, oh, probably, um, she kind of lost it. I, yesterday was <laughs> Valentine's Day. Uh, got to spend it alone like I have been for the last week or whatever um <laughs> and I'm doing my best to be like that independent woman my mama raised me to be and I always say that I am but she's struggling and I have not been following a routine very well I have not been taking great care of myself the depression full force which is fine I, sometimes I need breaks, sometimes I need to just let myself feel yesterday. So let we'll backtrack. Sunday, start of the vlog. Um, I woke up, had a nice morning to myself, I started cleaning, I fed myself. Great start. Um, and then I had a little bit of time to kill before going to my parents for the Super Bowl. So I sat on TikTok, as one does, um, because again, that's my toxic trait, is sitting on TikTok when I'm sad, because it, uh, it gives me that dopamine rush. It's very quick, instant entertainment and happiness and vibes and whatever. So I did that. And then I went to my parents, and what I thought was going to be like more interaction, my fault as usual, um, was have a sandwich and watch the puppy bowl because first off they fucking canceled the kitty bowl which i'm so offended by hallmark is dead to me um next year it'll be back better than ever but i was pissed um so obviously rough start uh the puppy bowl i barely watched because again i just sat on tiktok for like five hours i want to say um whilst I was waiting to eat my sandwich and then I had my sandwich and I continuously sat on TikTok and then I took Finn for a walk and the sunset was beautiful and I had a great time and then I got home and I watched some Netflix and TikToks and then I went to bed and like that was Sunday not where I wanted it to be but you know solid attempt Monday Valentine's Day I slept in which is fine did my makeup all cute i had a good morning i had a great day at work it was super busy but yeah i accomplished so many things i felt great and then i got home and i'm getting ready like i'm i'm feeling cute i'm feeling pretty i'm ready to like maybe film some of my first tiktoks i'm gonna talk to you guys i'm feeling great we're gonna chat and then i walk into the house and Monday was Finn's first day being completely home alone and this is partially on me but it's too hard watching him go through 10 hours of being in his crate and him trying to escape through this metal crate and getting his head stuck it's just not like his anxiety gets so bad and I feel for that and I obviously don't want to put him through that so it was hard and so I'm I was like, you know what, it's fine. I'll just move my boots so that he doesn't tear them up. But she left the treats out and the bathroom toilet seat up. So he drank a shit ton of water, had multiple accidents in the dining room, ate so many treats, so much food, uh, stole like a custom bag of popcorn that Austin made me off the like little side table destroyed the house basically um and i broke <laughs> i had such a big breakdown um 
wasn't doing very well, obviously. And so I, I, after that, I just crawled into bed. I did eat, I had food. Um, I was gonna watch Euphoria as like my toxic trait coming out. Like, you know what, I'm already depressed. Let's just fucking make it worse. Um, which caused me a lot of problems, like growing up and especially in middle school with like Tumblr. So I didn't do that, but I did sit on TikTok again um, and I wasted my night and then I went to bed early. And that was my Valentine's Day. Like I didn't even want to talk to Austin on the phone because I was just so upset. Um, and so I, that was my Valentine's Day. But then comes today, it's Tuesday. It is already 5 p.m. I woke up at 8.30. Um, Finn had another accident in the dining room and I didn't eat breakfast and knew I should. And I just sat on TikTok um, on the couch until I got hungry enough and I made pizza rolls and I sat in my chair and watched TikTok until my phone almost died. And then I decided, okay, like, let's go, let's go do something. I have so many videos that I want to edit, but like, this is becoming a therapy session, I do apologize. Um, but I was like, I have so many videos like pre-filmed that just need to be edited. Um, my book awards just went out uh, today because I uploaded it after I finished editing it like last week. Um, forgot that I did a thumbnail for it, forgot that I sent myself the thumbnail. So I uploaded the video but didn't have the thumbnail attached to it so I just didn't do that for days and then I sat down today and I was like okay let's do the thumbnail and lo and behold there it was the whole time so then I started going through my notion schedule for YouTube and like the videos that I'm supposed to upload the books that I'm supposed to be reading because I've been in a major reading slump I haven't fucking touched a book which is helpful I know um so yeah that happened <laughs> and um, almost broke down because of that. And then I started talking to myself, preparing for this vlog clip, and then I almost started crying again. And so she's just going through it. My house is a mess um, and I can't get myself to clean it like I want to. And I'm just so unwell, but she's trying her best and that's fine. She's doing great. But I looked at my calendar on Notion and I just got extremely overwhelmed of all the videos that I'm supposed to be uploading and how nothing that I planned for February is happening and it's the 15th, so like we're halfway through the month. Um, and I just feel like shit. And I'm worried about my content because obviously like this is something I'm trying to make into a more like full-time thing. Obviously like I have a great opportunity with my job right now so I don't want to fuck that up but I still want to have balance of YouTube and work and I thought that the schedule was gonna be great for that but I just like don't know how to do anything for myself so I've been neglecting YouTube even though that's all that I've been wanting to do and now I want to do TikTok but I still don't know how and I have no creative bone in my body and so I've been overwhelmed and now I'm worried that my like bookish content I'm losing passion in because I'm in such a reading slump, which makes the, me not have a niche again, which makes me stressed. And then also I have all this book content that some of it's not even filmed. Some of it is. Um, I haven't finished collecting my 2021 reading stats. I haven't done any of the videos that like really mattered to me. But is it too late? Like we're already almost in March, like three months into the year. Does anyone care about my 2021 information anymore? Why would they? I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me. But yet here I am trying because that's what you're supposed to do. And I don't want to abandon all this hard work that I'm putting into it because I'm depressed because that doesn't make sense. So we're gonna push through it today. This is a very long clip. Um, how are you guys doing? How's the end of winter treating you? I know that spring is coming soon. Hopefully that'll help. I do live in Oregon, so we don't really get like a warm, sunny spring, but it's fine. <sighs> so that was a lot of talking. Um, <laughs> basically, a girl is going through it and I'm not going to get into like the whys really because it doesn't matter to you guys and you guys 
don't care. No one actually watches these videos, so it doesn't matter at all, to be honest. And the only people that will see this will probably be like family members and they'll be like, wow, she's having a mental breakdown. <sighs> Anywho, I'm going through it and that's okay, but we're gonna push through it today. I have a lot of plans that I wanted to get done, a lot of videos that I wanted to get done today so that I could, fingers crossed, stay off TikTok tomorrow and just read because Escaping into books should help, but for whatever reason, I hate all of the books. Like, I'm only listening to one audiobook right now, and it's a 16 hour audiobook. I have six hours left listening to it at 1.8 speed. I'm enjoying it, but it's just a little repetitive, and I'm ready for it to get more exciting. It's for my like reading vlog for Aquarius season, which is almost over, and I haven't finished that. So I'm hoping to finish some books today and tomorrow so that I have content that I can talk about and finish. That's what's going on with me. Um, overall, the only thing extremely positive happening in my life is that I'm getting back into makeup, which is fun, and I'm remembering to feed myself food, sort of. I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to sit in this chair for the next five plus hours and edit my little life away. And hopefully, potentially, I will check in later if I remember and get better at taking care of myself. So, cool. It's your uh, depressed reading slump vlogger. How you doing? I have fun, exciting mail today. Today's been a very good day. And it just keeps getting better and better. <gasps> oh, I love it. Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> this is, if you can't tell, the Literally Dead Book Club merch. I got it in navy. You can't tell. It looks black, but it's navy. And it's beautiful. I almost got the foresty green one, but I decided against it, switching it up. And I love it. I'm so excited. I'm going to wear this so often. Um, the other thing, which I don't have scissors for. The other thing that I have is my fairy loot. Um, let's see if I can get it open. I did. Nice. So, yes, I got literally did book club. I literally bought it when I shouldn't have. Good decision on my part. Let me just readjust a little bit. Good decision on my part. Okay, now I'm too high. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, good decision on my part. I'm going to wear that sweatshirt so often because I just love the book club. It really helps me read. I've got the spoiler card, which is different from usual. Usually it's like this, but I'm seeing a little uh, man in the mirror is evil. Same guy though. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I have so many worms. Okay, that's fine for now. So first we have, ooh, a scythe enamel pin. I am supposed to be reading this. The more you know. Um, cute. It says, love remains mortal. That's really cute. I have a friend who <laughs> would love that pen, pin, pin. And then we have a metal bookmark designed by Ours 28, Aaron. Um, this is a scythe pin designed by Azura Arts. Very nice, very nice. I love getting bookmarks. I know that's like, am I supposed to open it? I love getting bookmarks. I know that's like the generic thing for book lovers is to get bookmarks, but I don't have enough. 
Like I honestly don't know how, don't know why, can never find a bookmark. But I'm not the type of person, surprisingly. I don't use like receipts to mark my pages or anything. Oh, oh, interesting. So this is it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, he kind of looks like he's doing like the thing, um, which is interesting. I'll have to look at the spoiler card for that. Um, enamel pin, bookmark. A new metal bookmark features a character from the book awaiting you at the bottom of this box. Okay. They do it. They're on top of it. They're so smart. Okay. Continuing on, we have... Next up, we have James... Hirondale trinket dish um beloved character from the last hour series by Cassandra Clare the artwork is even by Cassandra Clare um surprise surprise haven't my cat's eating I'm sorry but surprise surprise I haven't listened or read Cassandra Clare anything although I do own the entire mortal instruments series this is pretty though don't know what it means. I've seen the show Shadow Hunters, but I gotta get the right glare and reflection. But it's very pretty. It's very cute. I have no idea who it is. Continuing on, we've got a puzzle. Monsters in Verity. Verity. I hate that word. Oh, it's close. Oh, okay, that's fine. This is what it looks like. And the artwork is designed by Liz Art underscore Zardonix. And I'm assuming August Flynn puzzle. There's nothing more relaxing than a good audiobook and something to keep your hands busy. Maybe suggest a puzzle. This features August Flynn from This Savage Song by B.E. Schwab. You guys, if you've read other B.E. Schwabs outside of... A Darker Shade of Magic. I know The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue is probably like her most popular and beloved book, but if you've read A Savage Song or that other series that she has, let me know what you think about it because I did pre-order an exclusive edition of her newest standalone, The Gal Galleon? Galavant? I always want to say Galavant. Um, but I, I did order that to try it because it sounded interesting, and I haven't sworn V.E. Schwab off just yet, but we'll see. Next, this is a very large tea towel. I'll show you guys. Can you see? Yes, you can see. This says, these are the hours of spines and thieves. Spies and thieves. Lexi Ryan. This looks more like a tapestry, but it's not a tapestry that I would hang. Um, but yeah, it says that it's a, oh, these Hall of Vows tea towel. Designed by Stella Bookish Art. That's, I'm supposed to be reading this too. Okay. I feel like Fairy Lou saw me and was like, this depressed girl needs to finish her video, so let's make her read all of the books that she's supposed to be reading, you know? That's, I feel slightly attacked. But last but certainly not least, the book. Ooh, purple spray edges. Here we have, oh, I always, there's always something in here, a bookmark. Okay, so this is the same, as the print, just a bit smaller. Oh, oh, okay. This is a very cute fan art print with the letter. Um, not the vibes that I was expecting based off this. Like, those don't seem the same to me, but I'm excited. I'll read the letter in a second. Here's the fairy scoop. Okay, you ready? Oh, you see that? says, don't forget the rule. No one can know what we are. 
what you are. You must never tell anyone about monsters. Oh, okay. Only a monster can kill a hero by Vanessa Len. This is a very interesting cover, and I, I do like it. I, I like this a lot. Oh. This is, I think, this is the first book that has stenciled edges. How fancy. Okay. Let me go. <gasps> you, fuck. <laughs> I... I'm a little upset that the price is on the book, but whatever. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is it the same on the back? No. Are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Like, why is that so... This is... <laughs> this is the most beautiful book I own. Um, without a doubt, look at that shine, the purple. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Okay, let's see. What is this actually about, Sam? Tell me, so I could be interested. In every story, there is a hero and a monster. It should have been the perfect summer. Sent to stay with her late mother's eccentric family in London, 16-year-old Joanne is determined to enjoy herself. She loves her nerdy job at historic Holland House and where her super cute coworker Nick asks her on a date, it feels like everything is falling into place. Then a good Samaritan attempts gone wrong sends Joan Joan? Joanne? Joan? Spinning through time and her life quickly begins to unravel. Her family aren't just eccentric, they're monsters, ter with terrifying and hidden powers. And Nikki isn't just a cute boy, he's a legendary monster slayer who will do anything to bring them down. As she battles Nick, Joan is forced to work with the beautiful and ruthless Aaron Oliver, heir to the monster family that hates her own. She'll have to embrace her own monstrousness if she is to save herself and her family. Because in this story, she's not the hero. Ooh. An Australian author of Mal Chinese, Malaysian, and Maltese heritage. I don't know if this is her debut. I'm assuming not because it doesn't state that. So my assumption, but who knows? Okay, but beautiful, intriguing. I'm very excited for this. This sounds great. I say as I'm still in a reading slump and haven't picked up a book in so long. Not true, actually. I did start a book today. Sort of. I didn't listen to a lot of it, but I did start. <laughs> Counts for something. And then here at the bottom, we have the tarot cards. So we have Page of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles. They're cool. They're cool. I like seeing the different artworks that they do, like different styles all the time. Um, life update, Austin is actually on his way home. He got taken out of his like class and training a day early because they're wanting him to start work immediately basically because they're really busy. So he is on his way home tonight and that's cool. Uh, He's not supposed to get home till 11 though, and I'm already feeling kind of tired, so we will see, we shall see. I do work tomorrow and Saturday, so we won't have much time to hang out or anything. But I do have fun, exciting plans happening tomorrow that you guys can tag along sort of for. And yeah, that's, that's my little life update. Austin's coming home. Um, I had a good day. Thank goodness I had a good day for the first time in a while. And yeah, that's that's my update. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully it gets better from here. Not to say that I'm dependent on a man, but he does make life easier <laughs> when he's here. So I do appreciate him and him finally coming back home and not having to wait for tomorrow because tomorrow's going to be a mess of a day anyway. So that's my update. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, yeah, tomorrow we've got some fun little, little plans. Can't really hang out too much, but we're going to the theater. 
and then yeah i work saturday so i won't be able to vlog a whole lot and then sunday we're gonna get back in the groove of life so bear with me i think this is gonna be a two-week vlog just because i'm still really behind on my editing and i'm not doing a whole lot especially with mental breakdowns so i'm hoping like show the progress of me at a rough place and slowly getting better i'm doing laundry right now i've already had dinner i checked the mail like i'm we're doing good today and that's what matters right okay i'll see you later <laughs> hey hi hello uh i haven't vlogged in a little while don't feel very cute right now either so this will probably be quick but I did want to update that Austin came home and that night was short-lived, like we went to sleep, we worked the next day, but as you saw very briefly, we did go to Fiddler on the Roof at the Holt Center. There is something about sitting in the second row for a musical, it's just so good. Um, and it's very, we're very lucky that we have people in our lives that are willing to give us their season tickets for certain plays and pass on them so that we can go and enjoy the experience as two very big theater lovers it's very very nice um so yeah we had a great time it was absolutely fantastic it was so good the cast was so big and so talented the props and the settings and what is that called not settings set i don't know anyway um fantastic and they did great and it was beautiful the music was beautiful it was fantastic i think it was opening night and they crushed it but <laughs> after that um worked again saturday and then and then what what did i do saturday night we ordered pizza and like i crawled into bed um depression still still hanging around still lingering longer than i was hoping for it's going on three weeks now i think um but that's fine i'm doing better today i actually have something in my eye um but today i actually decided to clean uh, once I got the <laughs> courage to do so and like the energy in that burst, I have had three sips of a bang. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But I've been watching a lot of YouTube today and I cleaned the living room, partial the bathroom and partial my office. I'm still work in progress, but I thought I would quickly talk with you, say something. Um, I'll do bookish updates later in this vlog when I have more to update on because I am still in a reading slump but I'm hoping to get some reading done today and just ever so slowly get my life back on track but yeah I'm supposed to be editing right now but I'm cleaning and I don't want to stop just yet so I'm going to attempt a few more cleaning bits and bobs and then yeah edit I guess and then read hopefully and we'll see where we go from there i don't want to get overwhelmed or ambitious but i'm slowly chipping away at what i can do so that's i think all i have to update for now yeah okay well i'll chat with you guys later hopefully when i've read more because that's that's what i what i should do let's read more okay anyway finally reorganized our pantry so that we could see everything that we have <laughs> and I'm just very proud of it like I am so proud of my work granted I didn't didn't do that but wow good morning we're in the kitchen I'm gonna be making breakfast here in a minute but I might be kicking depression's ass right now. I'm not sure. Some days it, it's fluctuating 
we're on a boat, but <laughs> we are doing our best. And I did do most of not much yesterday, but I did edit my vlog, which took like two hours or something crazy. So improvements, Finn, I'm making myself breakfast this morning, which is also great. I woke up early and then refused to wake up as one does. Yeah, you're sleepy. But yeah, so I thought really quickly I would do some reading updates. I am still <laughs> filming a separate reading vlog, which was supposed to go up a few days ago, but I haven't finished um, because I have two audiobooks, an ebook that I'm most likely not going to finish for that vlog, so we can talk about it later, and then a book that I also haven't started. I'm just getting out of my reading slump, but. I did have a book for Polar Polarthon. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. But I finished Robber Girl by S.T. Gibson for Polarthon because it fit all of the prompts. Cozy vibes, snowy cover, Arctic setting. It's set in Sweden in like snow. It's a snow queen retelling or something like that. Animal companion. The thief, I'll get to the plot, has a deer and the witch has a crow or a raven or something. What was the last one? There's another, there's another one, but I don't remember what that last one is. And then polar fantasy. So boom, 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 I did it. Uh, a little late, but I did it. <laughs> Basically, this is about two girls. It is a queer fantasy retelling but it's about we're following primarily the princess of thieves she's a thief she's in a gang of thieves she has her own little pack and then they have like the bigger picture of thieves that her dad runs um she was adopted as a kid she's pretty good uh yeah so they go around stealing stuff and they come across this witch who is headed north like dark is coming it's gonna get real cold it's not safe and she just kind of has this attachment to the switch for some reason so without kidnapping her they kidnap her and keep her with them for a while but she's on a journey up north to find the snow queen that only apparently exists in fairy tales because she swears that her brother was taken and she's going to find him. And basically, this is the novella. The audiobook was five hours long. And you just go on this journey with them of talking about their traumas and getting to know each other, kind of falling in love. Maybe a little unsteady, but eh, it's okay. I, I did really enjoy it, especially the ending. I did feel like for being a short book, it kind of dragged and took me a while to get through it. But I did it, finished it. I did enjoy the ending a lot. I had another point, but I've now forgotten it. But yeah, it was good. I gave it four stars. It came out through Call Pile at a 3.5. So yeah, oh, that's what I was gonna say. In comparison to A Diary of Blood, S.T. Gibson wrote Diary of Blood, which was one of my favorite books of last year. It was absolutely beautiful. The writing was just like one of the best that I think I've written. Or I keep saying written as if I I just like have claimed this book so much. It's one of the most well written books that I've read. And Robber Girl had like sprinkles of that, but I didn't feel it to the same effect. The narration was also fantastic highly recommend. So that's my update on Robber Girl. Currently I'm listening to a three hour audiobook for my reading vlog, which I am enjoying and do hope to continue and probably finish today at work. So yeah, I have that. I have not updated that vlog in a while, so I'll probably do that this evening as well. But yeah, that's my reading update. I think tomorrow I'm doing 
sorry about Finn if you can hear him. Uh, I think tomorrow my plan is to still do a 24-hour readathon. I'm three books behind scheduled for my reading goal on Goodreads right now because I've been in a reading slump for a month. So we're gonna try and get out of that a little bit and hopefully finish four, potentially five books in the next two days. So yeah, that's my plans. I think tomorrow I'm also gonna do like a mental health check-in, romanticize my day, try and like feel better or something. We'll see how that goes. So yeah, that's my update. I'm gonna make breakfast because I have to leave in like 30 minutes. <clears throat> You're probably so crooked and I do apologize. You also might be able to hear Austin like sawing in the background. I'll make it quick. One, is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Yes. Two, I'm uh, swimming in the laundry because I'm folding clothes and putting them in the closet and going through stuff and donating a bunch. And three, not much has happened. Um, today is supposed to be the last day for this vlog because uh, I've been filming for I think two weeks and so this vlog needs to end so I can start the next one and I don't think anything's happened. We haven't talked books in a while because I haven't read anything to update you on because again I'm reading for a secret TBR video that's not be very secret <sighs> and so I have less to talk about and life is just slowly getting it back on track. Today is a chore day. Um, we're spending our Sunday like cleaning and preparing for the week and just getting back into the groove of things. So I'm hoping my next video that I'm starting tomorrow will have a lot of like get your life back on track. Let's try and build some habits, routine, let's try and just do good for ourselves kind of vibes. So that's what we're going for, that's what we're gonna do. And then yeah, that's kind of it for now. I guess I'll try and film later, I know that we're making Asian, so it's been a long time since I filmed that. So maybe I'll show that, um, if not, this is the end of our chatting at least. And I will see you guys very soon, hopefully you're all doing well this is a time for growth and relaxation spring is coming and it's so close we can almost taste it seasonal depression is gonna fully and then we can just deal with the normal stuff and it won't be heightened it'll be great we can do this we've got this i love you okay i hope you guys have a great whatever time of day it is for you and i will see you guys very soon bye <laughs>